to another high exclusive right here on high tv your luxury channel my name is Dima and i'm here at the iihs multiversity in keravalapitiya to have an interesting conversation with two personalities who are down here from the uk i have with me uh, dr craig blythe the associate dean global engagement faculty of health and life sciences from the coventry university uk I also have with me Professor Anne-Marie Canaby, who is Pro Vice Chancellor of Health and Life Sciences, Coventry University, UK. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We're so glad to have you here. Now, Anne-Marie is here with us for the first time, but Craig, you've been in Sri Lanka with us here at IIHS. Many times. Many times, and we've had many conversations as well. So to start off with now, this particular time that you are here in Sri Lanka, how has your experience been and what has your interaction been with IIHS? So, as you know, I'm a regular visitor um, to IHSS. I feel very much part of the family. And, and IHSS is part of the Coventry University family as well now. I think on this visit, um, in the same way as, as every time I come to IHSS, um, we see the development of a whole range of activities. Um, IHSS is not an institution that stands still. Um, so however regularly I visit, I see new activities, new courses, um, Coventry University is launching some exciting new courses in the next few months, so we will be looking to train the next generation of, of, of nurses, paramedics, radiographers. Um, so it's that, that expansion that, you, that I always see when I visit this, this partnership here. Now Anne-Marie, this is your first time, you've had a chance Correct. to walk around and see everything that happens here. So what are your honest feelings about the facility and uh, IHS as an institution? So this is my first time and I've had a, an amazing two days. The facility is wonderful and I've met students doing all sorts of courses. Um, the vision for the future is, a, is, a, is amazing. Um, I think you should be really, really proud of, of everything that's happening here. Perfect. Now, lots of things, as you can see, they have seen, they've come down, they've experienced it themselves and they're sharing their experiences with you. Now, uh, Craig, now the Co Coventry University and IHS collaboration has been um, going on for a while. So what potential benefits do you see for both parties moving forward? So I think for, for Coventry, when we partner with institutions around the world, our gold standard collaboration is where both institutions add real value to each other. And I think that's the key to the partnership here in Sri Lanka, that it's not just Coventry adding to IHSS, yes, we offer lots and lots of our courses here, but it's also the wonderful opportunities that partnering with IHSS offers to Coventry and really importantly to Coventry University students. We're a very student facing organisation um, and that's why our priority is. So for me, you know, I expect to see lots more activity over the coming months. You'll see Coventry University students from around the world um, visiting here in, in, in Sri Lanka. Um, I think it's important to remember that Whilst we're based in the UK, we have campuses in Egypt, we have a campus in China, in Morocco. Um, we will very shortly have a, an expanded presence here in, in Sri Lanka. Um, so lots of exciting things to come um, in the coming months and years. That's great to hear. So when you say internationally, you truly do <laughs> mean a wide variety of universities all over the, uh, the world. Absolutely. So Coventry in the UK, we have more students studying with our partners around the world than any other UK university. We're very proud of that. Um, so yes, we have hundreds of nursing students here, but we have nursing students in Romania, midwifery students in Greece, biomedical students in Hong Kong. Um, and IHSS is joining that family of Coventry partners. Sounds fantastic. Now, Anne-Marie, you have just come from the hospital, you said right before the interview. So let's talk a little bit about your perspective on the Sri Lankan healthcare system, the strengths that we have, and of course, the areas that you think we could work on a little bit. Okay, so I've just had an amazing visit. Um, hospitals have got really, really good facilities and spoke to a lot of the doctors and nurses. And um, I think, something that every healthcare system is concentrating on and what I see here at um, IIHS is, is workforce is a, is, a, is a major issue globally and um, you know across Sri Lanka that's been recognised and there's an awful lot of 
um, emphasis on education and building a healthcare workforce for the country and, and you know, here you're, you're making some uh, amazing uh, progress. I think things, other things that um, nursing communities across the world are working on is, is the recognition of, of the fabulous work that nurses do, so looking at nurse leadership, healthcare leadership, um, and, and also generally across the, the globe, the prevention of ill health is something that, that, that all um, healthcare uh, systems are concentrating on, and, and I know I've had some discussions about that while I've been here. Comparatively to other countries, when you look at Sri Lanka, how do you think we fare? Oh, I, I think, um, I, I mean, I've, I visited ITU and cardiac uh, catheter suites today, and the facilities are uh, amazing. Um, and the access that, that your citizens have to, to healthcare has been really impressive. Well, that's good. That's a good thing to hear, say, to hear that we are placed at a good place. Now, we're quickly going to go for a commercial break and we'll be back. Welcome back to the show. I've been in conversation with Craig and Anne-Marie about the relationship that the Coventry University in UK has with IIHS. And building on that, uh, Craig, I'd like to ask you, in your opinion, um, could IIHS actually strengthen the ties with the Coventry University in the future to enhance uh, healthcare professionals and their training in Sri Lanka? Absolutely, and, and that's a process that it's a continual process that we're, we're sort of expanding at the moment. So you'll be aware our vice chancellor um, was over in November, um, and the reason for that was to sign another MOU which really indicates that we are strengthening and closening the partnership between our, our two institutions. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we are adding a whole range of new course areas to the provision here at um, IHSS, um, but also exploring how we can work together to contribute to, to a whole number of global health challenges. Um, I mentioned that we partner with countries all around the world and I think the next step for IHSS is to join us in, in that endeavour and I think you will see IHSS working you know, with our partner in Egypt or our partners in other parts of the world um, as we collaborate on, on the next step of, uh, of the journey really. So lots of things to look forward Absolutely. to. Absolutely, exciting times. Now Anne-Marie, um, from your experience, how crucial do you think is the role of a healthcare professional when contributing to the well-being of the people here and in other countries as well? So um, the education of healthcare professionals oh. is really, really important. Um, we all, health is important to all of us and we all need help and guidance both in prevention or treatment from a very very early age until the end of our life um, and healthcare professionals um, give a lot of education to the general pu public they're part of our communities um, and they're vital for the well-being of our communities from basic prevention um, information to treatment to helping us through all of our um, issues around health in the future. If, if we have good health, um, we have good life. So they're really, really crucial and central to all of our communities, not only in Sri Lanka, but globally. Now, we're coming back to you, Craig. Um, we're talking about the assessment of IIHS contribution. So we'd like your honest assessment to say how is IIHS faring at the international stage? And do you see the role of IIHS evolving in the future? Absolutely. I mean, IHSS plays uh, an incredibly important role, as do, do many health education um, institutions, in contributing to finding solutions to a number of challenges that, that the globe has in relation to, to health um, in general. So the World Health Organization has said that by 2030, there will be a 9 million worldwide shortage of nurses. So it's incredibly important that we look to train more quality nurses um, around the world and that's something that IHSS excels in. Um, IHSS's graduates successfully work all around the world. We have many IHSS nurse graduates working in the UK but also in Australia and other parts of the world. 
Um, and I think you know, the next step of that is, is looking at other health disciplines um, where we have shortages in the world, whether that be paramedics, physiotherapists, so we're about to launch a postgraduate physiotherapy course here at IHSS, um, so that we can contribute towards finding some of the, the solutions um, to some of the challenges that we, that we face around the world. Speaking about the future, and Maria, I'll ask you, um, are there any specific projects or initiatives that you'd suggest for IIHS and uh, Sri Lankan healthcare professionals to enhance the capabilities? So we had quite a lot of discussions yesterday, and IIHS are already in front of the curve. But some of the things that they do already that we've been talking about is uh, the, um, the digital agenda in health, and how digital health and the way that we care for people will change with technology in the future, but they're doing such a lot around that already. And then generally, we, none of us want to be poorly or ill, so the prevention agenda, I think, globally is becoming more and more important where we talk about genomics and personalised health and preventing some of the, the chronic illness and diseases that we have. And in our discussions yesterday, um, IIHS are already thinking about things. Well, it's time for another short break and we'll be back with more questions. Welcome back to the final segment and uh, right here we're going to talk a little bit uh, more about the collaboration that Coventry University has with IIHS and the benefits basically that Sri Lanka has by associating with uh, the UK nursing industry as well. So I'm going to start with you Anne. Um, the UK healthcare system, how has it welcomed and accommodated international healthcare professionals, particularly those from Sri Lanka? Okay. so. Um, Prior to this role, I've been a chief nurse in the NHS for, for a while um, and workforce is, a, is an issue uh, across all healthcare systems, including the NHS. So um, the NHS has been delighted um, to welcome nurses from abroad to, to help in their healthcare system. And we have been welcoming nurses from IIHS and Sri Lanka. Um, and they've been doing really, really well. Um, we've heard stories over the last couple of days around how they've settled into all sorts of uh, specialist roles in, in the UK. They've done really well at passing their exams and being uh, on the, on the um, nursing register in the UK. And we've got lots of stories of them excelling um, both in clinical practice but also in research in healthcare so they're doing really 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 well that's fantastic to hear and we do like to hear that Sri Lankans are going outside and blending well and mm. doing well and excelling as well now Craig um, what do you think in which ways can healthcare professionals from Sri Lanka contribute and benefit the UK healthcare system when it comes to a nursing role in particular? Absolutely. I think, well, I think it's wider than nursing. Um, so as, as Professor Amaria said, um, students or graduates from IHS are playing an, an incredibly important role uh, in the UK health system. Um, a number of our hospital trusts work very closely with IHSS. I believe one of our trusts was over here last week um, looking to directly recruit IHSS and Coventry graduates. Um, Obviously that's great news for the UK health system, um, it's also great news for graduates and, and for IHSS. Um, I mentioned earlier the, sort of the, the global shortage of, of nurses um, and it's not just the UK, it, it's a worldwide issue um, in terms of future workforces um, and certainly IHSS are, are playing you know, a, a role or a part in, in meeting that shortfall within the workforce. Coming back um, to the connection and the co collaboration that IIHS has with Coventry University now, when it started off, you started off with a single nursing course. Now you've come over the years and you've been expanding and introducing a range of healthcare courses to uh, IIHS and the students studying here as well. Let's talk a little bit about the new courses that are on offer and that you've added on. Sure, so uh, as you say, we started the partnership um, not in this, this wonderful new university that, that's recently been opened, but in, in, in the, the older campus, um, I think was perhaps 100 nursing students. Um, at the last count, we had 800 Coventry graduates here. That's on top of all of the local diploma students that IHSS educates. 
We now offer courses in physiotherapy, postgraduate courses, so it's not just undergraduate training that IHSS deliver now. Um, biomedical sciences, really, really important area. Um, some excellent laboratory facilities now that IHSS has developed. Um, also importantly, a, a range of leadership courses, including um, an MBA in healthcare administration leadership. Um, no point in having great healthcare systems if you don't have great leaders, um, so really important area. I think in terms of future developments, um, the, the, we're, we're discussing a whole range of areas. Digital health, incredibly important as we move forward with, with, with healthcare. Digital is going to play much more of a role. Myself and Anne-Marie were in Singapore a few days ago looking at some of the incredible um, advances in, in technology around health and social care. I think in terms of social care, um, we are hopefully going to be delivering an undergraduate certificate in social care, which is quite a new area in Sri Lanka um, and an expanding and, and, and increasingly important area. Um, what we know from health services around the world is often the challenges within a health service are generally a knock-on from issues with the social care service. So unless you have a really strong social care service, often you can't discharge people from hospitals because there's no support within in society. So really exciting that IHSS will be offering those types of, of courses. Um, I've mentioned paramedic science, that will be one of our next courses here. I was talking to our colleagues at the hospital this morning around the role of paramedics. Um, so lots and lots of exciting new courses that will contribute both to capacity building within the Sri Lankan Health Service, but also worldwide. And we're talking about new roles and new um, areas of study. Why do you think it's important in the practice to have allied professionals in the okay. healthcare system? So, so um, our, our bodies and our health is, is complex. So healthcare is a, is a team sport. Um, and there are lots of different professionals in that team that are experts in particular areas. So, for example, paramedics are experts in emergency situations and conveying people into hospital. Physiotherapists are experts around our musculoskeletal system and rehabilitation. And in rehabilitation, we also need occupational therapists and dietitians. So to make sure that we get the best care, we need a team of people that work together to provide the best care for people. So that's why they're really important. Okay. Now, finally, we're going to wrap up with one final question. I'll direct it to both of you. You can take turns and answer. Okay. Now, from uh, each of your perspectives, how do you envision the growth of IIHS in terms of its international impact and the collaborations? And if you go so, Okay, so I'll go first. So I know that IIHS has, has big plans um, to expand its educational provision, but also potentially, you know, a hospital on the on the site. So I think um, nationally, it's it's going to uh, grow and provide a, an awful lot of healthcare professionals for for the country, but also because of its collaborations. Um, it is very global in perspective, so I think it's going to contribute uh, to the global healthcare agenda. And I've certainly, um, during my two-day visit, you know, the research perspective is very, very proud and is doing really, really well around healthcare research and is publishing in peer-reviewed journals. So that's influencing both the knowledge in the country and also the knowledge globally. Okay. Sure. I mean, I think it, it very much goes back to an earlier answer I gave uh, around how Coventry has a very large network of international partners and by IHSS joining that network, I think we'll see lots of collaborations, um, not just with Coventry, but um, I'm constantly introducing my colleagues here to our other partners around the world. I mentioned Singapore, but Dubai and, and Egypt, and I think you will see an increasing involvement by IHSS in that international network of health institutions, um, which will both add value to, to the network, but certainly will provide lots of opportunities to the academics and the students here at IHSS. One of the things that I'm passionate about is student mobility um, and the opportunities that international student mobility offers. Um, so again, we would expect to start to see sort of 
mobility of students between our campuses, so it will open up um, opportunities for students here to spend time elsewhere in the world where we're offering very similar health care courses. Thank you so much. So we've been talking about the opportunities and new pathways available to you watching with IHS and the partnership they have with the Coventry University. So in closing, I'd like to uh, thank Dr. Craig Blythe for being with us and also Professor Anne-Marie Canaby for being <laughs> here and having a chat with us today. Thank you. Until we see you again with another high exclusive, take care and be safe. My name is Dima.